Folks, welcome back to NASCAR Heat 5. We have got Bristol this week, and I am happy and excited for that. I love Bristol, so I'm looking to get another victory this season and close out our incentive contract with this race. But you never know what can happen because some of our drivers have updated their short track programs to being top notch. So depending on what they do on the track, we may be up for quite a battle, actually. So enough of that. Let's get out here, do a little bit of practice. And as always, we'll see you at qualifying. Well, we were able to get our practice goal achieved. So a good start for us. Now let's get out there and replicate it in qualifying. Qualifying lap now underway. And through one and two, just like that. Through three and four, just like that. And through the finish line, just like that. 11th place in qualifying. These are 95 overall cars, so that's pretty nice. And you can see who put money into their, or put points into their short track program. Lane Timber again in first, Max Cost second. Matt Malone third. We got Tommy Joe Martins and Brandon Jones fourth and fifth. Gary Norton comes in 12th right behind us. Eliza Bethel 19th. Michael Chavez 20th. AJ Hale comes in 23rd. Jeremiah Graham 24th. Timothy Mathis 27th. Casey Kane 28th. Taylor Carpenter 29th. Bernardo Day Oliveira 30th. Matias Espinosa 31st. John Perez, 32nd. David Schildhouse, 33rd. Bradshaw Stout, 34th. Bryce Egan, 35th. And Parker Smith, 36th. We got 150 laps here at Bristol Motor Speedway. And some pre-race information. Lane Timmergen is a friend. We like that. David Schildhouse, second race in a row. Team seems to be a bit in a slump. Max Cost is the car that goes to the back for a failed inspection. All right, man. You're coming to the green. All right, and here we go, getting ready for this one. We got a three gear setup. We can run it as four. The fourth gear is exactly like the third gear, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to leave it in third gear. Um, Really not much to talk about with the gears or anything. Let's bring up the relative. We've got Brendan Poole right in front of us. Ryan Ellis next to him as we're stuck on the outside, but I actually like to run the middle outside on this track, so we'll see how that goes for us. I got a little loose off there. Not bad, but it did get a little loose. We're going to drop down to the inside because Matt Malone dropping back a bit. See if we can get in behind Ryan Truex and work this inside to get around him car feels really good love to feel a lot of stability seeming even though we got a little loose off earlier car i mean i got it right down to the lower end of the track malone is Ooh, that wasn't what we wanted come on man sheldon creed decides he wanted to sneak through still out of shape two corners later and now we've got some of these leaders driving away. Not what we wanted at all, but here we go. We get a nice run out of the exit there. Able to actually put it down all the way going into starts two and three. Lane leading the race right now with ease. We're going to jump to the inside of Creed. Try to keep it off the apron. We're going to ride him up the hill. And we're... We're getting there for lap times, but here comes Sammy Smith on the inside. He's putting some work in on us. Careful. Gonna roll the corner a little bit more, keep him down, and get a better runoff than he had. He gets on the gas earlier, but we're gonna get a better run off. Although he did hit us a little and we ended up in the wall. Short track racing, no big deal. Wow, something went wrong with him there though, and he slides up the track. We gotta get on the brake. Lot of lot of contact going on, but we're not finishing anyone off. So I'd like to think that's important. Why are we getting beaten up so much? We are a lot faster than this. I don't know why we're getting beaten up like this. Granted, we're in 12th place. We're fine, but see if I can kind of get it together now that we've got a little bit of a gap here. 
and see if I can actually start to gain on some of these drivers in front of us. I know I normally like to run that middle line. This setup has us running. We can run the low line and of course it's a little faster, shorter way around the track. And I'm hoping, as you can see, we're starting to gain on these cars in front of us. It's not going to take really long before Lane is in lap traffic. Curious to see what he's able to do with that. Of course, in this game, that is a bit of an issue for the AI drivers and how aggressive they're going to be to get around the pack. We've got up behind Sammy Smith. Let's see if I can... Well, I can't roll the inside wind. Why is everyone so loose? I had barely contact with him in the straightaway, and then he's sliding around going into the turn. It's weird. Unless he just got on the brakes hard. I don't know, but it looked like he was sliding around and the amount of contact we had had with him was minor at most. Back up into our qualifying spot. So that's something. Brendan Poole running that middle lane. That's going to make force us to go down if we want to get any real runs. We're going to jump to the inside of Smith. Brendan Poole goes down. Michael Chavez goes up. A lot of action going on as cars shuffling around in this small group in front of us trying to get around their competitors. You got room. You're clear. We're back up into 10th place where we actually started, although we qualified in 11th. We did start in 10th place because Max Cost went to the back of the pack due to a failed inspection. This is stage racing, so although we have 63 left in the tank, there's only 42 laps in the stage. We have 26 of those laps left as it flies by. We need to make some moves here on Brennan Poole, though, because Sammy Smith is right up behind us. Get right back on the gas. Get around Brennan Poole. That worked out. Up to Ryan Truex. And nowhere to go. Nowhere to go as we're held back by... Brandon Jones. Gonna try to get the run to get to the inside of Ryan Truex. We're gonna go three wide through one and two, or is this, yeah, one and two. We have to. If we didn't make the move, we're just continuing to fall back half a lap behind the leader. And he's got a pretty big gap on the other eight positions in front of him. So it's crazy, but he's doing good work there. Brandon Jones down here. We're gonna have to get a really good run and somehow figure out how to get around him. We've gotten around Michael Chavez. We'll get the good runoff. We're gonna get to the fender. Huge run going down the front stretch. And that's gonna put us in front of Brandon Jones. And now we've got the whole track to work with, which means hopefully I'll be able to start putting some distance between the likes of Sammy Smith. It's not the race that's half over. The stage is half over though. We see the lap traffic in front of us. It looks like Lane was able to get around that lap traffic on his own. I know for a fact that he is a zero rated driver, which is the top rating you can have. So he should be able to get around these other cars without issue. And uh, I believe that some of the cars in front though, in front of us are not lappers. So they're having a hard time getting around this lap traffic. We put a bit of a distance between us and Sammy Smith and the rest of the pack behind us, which is a big deal as we've settled into this race and we're sitting in sixth place. We want a victory and we know we've got to get up to... Back it down, back it down. No, no. We know we've got to get up to Lane Timberkin to take that win away from him as he's a short track king in this game. We're going to run that middle line around some of the slower traffic here. And we're going to have a little bit of contact with Espinosa. There we go. We're able to got a little out of shape going into the turn. We take advantage of it. Get around the inside of Parker Smith. Get up on Taylor Carpenter. Bryce Egan up here. Bradshaw Stout. We're going for Cole Custer, though. That's who we want to get around. And he is doing a good job of running that middle line to get around everybody else. He's going to drop down to the inside, of course. The best thing I can do is figure out, right? Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, can I get to his fender? Yes, I can. John Perez put all his points into the Speedway program. So he's running 
little bit farther back, but because of his success this year so far, he's going to have a lot of points, and that is coming. These drivers actually will get these points, probably already have them, so that they can uh, tell me where they want to put their upgrades in before next week. This is Thursday's video that I'm recording right now on Sunday, the 30th of June. We're going to get around. John Perez on the outside. Get back to the gas and start trying to put a little bit of a gap between us and Cole Custer as he got caught up behind Perez. So that works out for us a bit. Daniel Hemrick in front of us now. Fourth place. We're in the top five. A lot of action going on here. And that action is now over. We saw no reason to pit. Everyone's caught back up with each other. Should be interesting racing. Kind of settled in a bit. Let's see if we're able to continue that. As we've got Tommy Joe Martins right in front of us. We are not, as he is a rival, we are not going to go to the outside on him. That might cost us a little bit. But uh, it's... Well, that's why I didn't want to do it, but whatever. He's fine and we're fine. We don't have to deal with him anymore. Top three. We're getting good runs now. Seven to go in stage number one. It's flown by. So much action going on early on in the races. We battled our way up into second place. And we're looking at Lane, who's doing a great job of driving away. Can we catch him before the end of stage one? Will lap traffic play a role in the finish of today's race? I bet it will. But we are we're gaining on lane just a little bit. Got a little excited there. Got on the gas tight. Slight bit too early. Had to come off it. Here we go. Five to go. We've caught Tibber again. But I don't think we have it to get around his outside. So we're going to have to work to get to his fender on a runoff. And I don't think we got it here. Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, yes, we did. His spotter said, car low. Car inside. And that's going to open the door for us. We're going to get a big runoff. He slowed up. We take the lead with three to go in stage number one. Two laps left. I may not talk through the rest of the, because we're in the lead now. I'm just going to roll the corners, not even use the brakes. Oh, that was actually really bad. Last lap, hit, your mark. hit my marks indeed. Get through these last two corners. Drive off and take home a stage one victory. Okay, so interesting news, we did pit. A lot of cars did not pit. I'll say this, that's gonna make for an exciting, <laughs> forgot to shift. That's gonna make for an exciting stage two because they don't have it to make it through stage two on this tank of gas. So we're going to have green flag pit stops, which is going to be pretty weird. Stay low, stay low. Also pretty weird was the fact that uh, we were on the inside of Tommy Joe Martins and he didn't come down and hit us. That's a rival thing and he didn't. So maybe we're not in rival status with him anymore. That'd be awesome. Be really awesome if we weren't in rival status with Max Koss either. But best thing we can do with Max is just leave him alone. Oops. Didn't get on the brakes hard enough for Ryan as Cole Custer was there and Truex got on the brakes. We're going to go mid, try to roll the corners to get around. Well, now we can't because Brandon yeah, Jones is right. Yeah. See, we would have been able to, though. We would have had a great runoff if Brandon Jones wasn't here. Can we go higher? Can you take me higher? Nope, not a singer. We've established that in previous episodes. Following Cole Custer around. 
making way as we've caught up to Malone, Barry, Alfredo, Bethel, Careful, still there. Creed, Hill, Cost. They're all up there. Who is that? Oh, that's um, Greg Galding leading that pack. Which, there's a big separation between that pack and the lead pack. Also, we're going to get to a point pretty quick here where... I mean, I don't think it matters. Well, hello. Never mind. We are still rivals with Tommy Joe as he just drove into us in the turn. So maybe we just got lucky when he didn't drive down on us earlier. Or he was pinned and couldn't drive down on us at the time. Here comes Koss. We'll just help him. I lied. I get to Galdings. Oh, I'm not going to do three wide here. I'll do it if I get a good run through here. And I didn't. Get a little more uh, timid when I'm around. Cost, obviously, for now. But he got around Galding on the outside. I know I could have gone for it, but I know as soon as I got up high, I was going to lose it on him. So I figure I'm going to do a cross under, crossover, whatever. Nope, I couldn't do it. I had to get on the brakes there. But. Whoa, see that? I mean, we touched him barely in the turn. Uh, he let us. Oh, my goodness. What are the odds that both of the cars that we're rivals with are there at the same time? We get. Hit around by both of them. No big deal. We're away from them now, and I will not be looking back. Now, to my knowledge, as Matt Kenseth leads the race, the majority of these cars up here have not pit. How is that going to affect them with the tires? I'm not sure, but I like to think that, uh, especially since we just put down our fastest lap of the race, I like to think we're in a good spot here. I like to think I am. So we're going to get a nice runoff, get to the inside of Brennan Poole. Careful, still there. Run him up the track on accident. That was a good job by me. Daniel Hamrick, Michael Chavez, Sam Mayer. The next three victims on the list. Now, yeah, the question, though, how long? 38 laps, so maybe, maybe they can go the whole way, and that's why they didn't pit. We got damage in the front, damage in the back from Cost and... Tommy Joe, so that sucks. I mean, it's a short track, so it doesn't really matter, but, you know, it sucks. You don't want that. You don't want that at all. We've caught lap traffic. Sam Mayer on. We're right behind. Um, shoot. Egan. Sometimes hard to compensate while you're driving. That's all I'm saying. Sometimes it's just you're driving, so I live compensate. And with that, sometimes I pay attention to my driving instead of commentating on what I'm doing. You can see what I'm doing. Jump to the inside of Espinoza. Try to work our way around the traffic without an issue. Lane Timmer again in second. We're gaining on him. But Matt Kenseth holding on to that first place right now, which is interesting to say the least. 20 left in stage number two. Of course, we'll pit. Everyone else will pit two at the end of the stage. So I guess our pitting in stage one was no benefit unless unless you really have to pit. I don't know. But judging by how things have been going, I don't think they do. Now, either we're lapping Shieldhouse again or he's moved his way up the pack quite a bit on these lappers, which is good for him. Unfortunate for us, though, is there is a huge stall out right here. So can we get around some cars with some safe but aggressive moves? We have moved our way up to first place. It's just a matter of can we get to the inside of Parker Smith. Doesn't look like it. So we'll just kind of hang back here. We've got Tiburgen right behind us. Well, let's see if I can make it three wide, hold the corner better, and get around. 
Mathis here. We did it. We did it. Oh, we did it. What a great move, too. We got a huge run out. Jeremiah Graham was slowed up. And here's where we get to put some separation between us and the rest of the group. And that's a perfect time to speed this thing up until the end of stage number two. We'll be back on the bike with you at that point. 15 laps. It'll go by fast. There we go, sweeping the stages. Now can we take home the victory? Women in first, come out in first. Max Cost on the outside. Brennan Poole up seven spots. Lane Tibber again behind us. Or behind, I guess, a couple spots. He's back in fourth place. We get a huge jump. And really, with Max Cost right there, it's important that we don't give up anything. No, I'm not doing it. He can take the pass, and we'll be patient with it. All right, you're clear there. 62 laps remaining. Yeah, no now. pit stops oh, needed. Yeah. We can run this thing out for the rest of the race. Inside. Just got to get back on it. Max, with the rivalry, I hit the brakes and let him go by. We'll get back to him. Awesome. There we go. Already running better laps. Can't wait until we have this car maxed out Great job, right now. That's a fast lap right, there. right now we're basically, I mean, we're faster than the cars behind us, but we basically have to wait for Max to get in the lap traffic to help ourselves get around him. That's all right, though. Plenty of time for that. We're already a half a lap ahead of last place. And we're somehow putting down three of our fastest laps in a row. This one will not match those, but it is funny. They're all 16 ones though. So we're doing well with that. Cost still driving away a little bit. Thankfully, uh, we've been able to drive away from the cars behind us, but not really as we get a slower lap there. Couple hundred slower, not a full 10th, but gotta keep that in mind. Brendan Poole is getting closer. That was a slower lap overall. I don't like that very much. And Max Cost just driving away from us. It's kind of crazy, but we'll catch him. We know that's how this goes. But so is Brendan Poole. Tommy Joe Martins is there. Lane Tibber can getting back into... Wow, we got real loose there. Getting back up into the top five, but he's... It's not there. Max is getting close, just two turns outside of getting to lap traffic. We've already run through almost 10 laps of this final stage. It goes by fast, folks. It goes by really fast. I want him to get into lap traffic. I want that to stunt him. I want to catch him. Obviously, we are... Uh, Kind of got it together, and we're driving away from Brendan Poole a little bit again. That's nice. He had gotten pretty close to us, but we've taken it away. And we're driving away just a little bit. Matt Kenseth in fourth lane, getting up to, or in, Matt Kenseth in fifth. Timber Ken getting up into fourth. He's making his way back up. We take the wall. Thankfully, that's not going to cost us a lot of speed, but it does give Poole a little bit of an opportunity to catch up to us. So we'll have to just make sure we hit our marks again. And I just screwed that up again. 
All right. Okay. Cost is in lap traffic. But we messed up. He got around some of it already, but it looks like he might be caught up on the inside of some of the lap traffic. We'll see once we get to it. That's going to hopefully also help us with the cars behind us. Putting a little gap there. Short track racing is good for that for us. Use that lap traffic. Oh, no. It looks like... Looks like Koss is doing a pretty good job of getting around the lap traffic right now, although we have gained six tenths, eight tenths on him in the last two laps. He might be caught up now as we're catching lap traffic. We have to still navigate our way through it, although we just know we're more aggressive than they are. And aggressive in a good way. We're just, we're aggressive the way they would be if they actually were a good AI. Because we're not running into people to get around them. We just are willing to go higher up on the track to make those moves and... Like here, see, we ended up getting caught up. But we're all right. We jump right to that outside. We're within a second on cost. We've got almost a second between us and Michael Chavez now. Who got around Brendan Poole. I'm not going to pinch Bethel down there. Ooh, I was. I almost did there, though. Get a huge runoff. Get around Norton. Interesting to see, uh, very interesting to see Carpenter run that high middle. That was weird, but now he's going to bring it all the way down. Stay high, stay high. And right as Cost is about to clear everybody, we are catching him. So that's good. Question is, can we get around him? His, I don't know. I don't know. Not sure what we can do yet, but we're here. I'm hoping now that we're dang near 20 laps into this run that his little initial speed burst is gone and we can start to do some work on him. We also have to keep in mind as a rival, we can't just go side by side with him because he will smash into us. So we're going to take advantage of Daniel Hemrick when he gets up to Oliviera up there. If Koss decides to stay on the inside, we'll just wing around him on the outside because those cars in front are slower. And that's the only opportunity we have. Here it comes already, maybe. Not yet. Those other cars did get caught up in that lap traffic. Wow, Cost is good for him, actually. Good for him being willing to take that higher line. That's, uh, that is the benefit, by the way, for the drivers who were wondering why the high line mattered. They won't even try the high line, which is why there's so many cars back there that are stuck behind traffic now. Because they're not willing to go around traffic on that high line. They'll just settle in. Oh, wow, did I... I didn't get... I didn't hit him. I did not hit him. He cannot get around Creed. And the only way I'm going to do it... I got to be right on him and then roll high on the corner. Oh, Creed goes down. Ho, ho, ho. I was about to make that move, and that would have hurt us so bad coming out. Creed falls in behind Brandon Jones, though. And they're both stuck behind Casey Kane. And we are, I mean, obviously, because it's short track anyway, our foot is on the brake. But we are very cautious on the brake right now to not run into cost. I'm hoping that a race like this can potentially help the relationship. Not because I'm behind him. I have every intention of beating him, but because what we are racing around him, we're being souped. Oh, no. Shieldhouse caution. Nope. No caution for Shieldhouse, but he's on the track. We ran hard into cost with no caution. Had no expectations of that being a thing. And with that, we have now, da well, we damaged our car, but we're all right with that. It's, what the, so Schildhouse still in the track, still no caution. No danger there at all. Unbelievable. All right, 34 left in this one. We're almost halfway through the final stage. So we've got AJ Hale in front of us in that sweet, sweet Red Bull car. So a little story about the number on there. He picked the number 12. I was looking up Red Bull race car numbers. And that's actually, I mean, I created the font myself. But 
the number being like inside of the other number was actually something that they do on the race team so i thought that'd be a cool little touch that's why that looks like that i wasn't being lazy or anything it, it actually the way i do my stuff um i drew it with a pen well the pen tool and created the outline properly as well with the pen tool so i if i resized it i wasn't going to lose any of the quality of the image for any of you graphic geeks out there that's how i do all the cars i use the pen tool so if i have to rescale anything i don't lose the quality of it so i basically draw everything myself for, except for sub logos but writing i tend not to mess with a lot because it's annoying to repen writing. You can usually just, if you find the proper font, you're completely fine because you can turn the font into a shape and it works really well. If you just try to turn like an image into a shape, it tends to be real wonky, so I just draw it out myself. Max cost has not really gone away even though he did slam on his brakes really hard. He's gaining. Oh, no, he gained a little bit, and now I think he's caught up behind someone because he just dropped four tenths after that. Good. He's going to be mad now right after I got done saying, oh, maybe we can improve our relationship, and then we smash into him hard because he hit his brakes to avoid Shield House, who is out of the race. Rough stint for that team. They are uh, they're having a bad couple races. That happens, though. He just has to figure out how to get through it and get back out there and start to compete again. You only have to win one race to make the playoffs. And again, with the drivers putting their upgrades in, some of them are right on a fine line from being competitors to win. I think he's one of them, but he did it fairly balanced. So like his fine line, he's going to all of a sudden be good at all areas, short track, super speedway, speedway. There's a few of them out there. I think Eliza Bethel's another one that's like that, where when she does start to compete, she's going to be really good in every single sort of every single track type. So right now they may be, you know, running in the teens and 20s, but you're going to see them running up in the top echelon of these cars in a very short period of time. They get to upgrade four times in a season. It's every eight races. This is the eighth race of the season. So as soon as this race is over, actually, I'll be sending out the uh, the upgrade numbers for all of them. And then they'll have until like they get like five days to respond to me. Although most everybody responds right away. And I really appreciate that because, again, as I say, I do this for free the uh subscriber driver thing and the least they can do is be on on top of it and that is exactly what they do and i appreciate that all right you're clear looking inside now we are just cruising around with about to be 20 to go sammy smith who we competed with heavily early on in the race they all seem to be super super fast early but then the fall off is pretty pretty great as you can see we're actually working on potentially lapping Chavez and Tibber again before the end of this one because they got caught up in lap traffic. Shoot, we've even put max cost pretty heavily down now, so that's nice. Still there. Clear high, clear high. It's been a fun race, an exciting race, but every time we come out to Bristol, you know, until everybody is upgraded to that level that Cost and Tibber again are, level, are up to right now, once everybody is, it's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard because one of the things you're not going to have are, and we'll notice this in the next race, actually, the cars are just faster. So there's not going to be so much of a difference between the fast and slow cars. Next race, Cup Series, right here. We get to take our number 84, Aris Toyota Camry, right back on this track and uh, try to sweep the weekend like we did in Atlanta. And I got to be honest... If we don't, I'll be I'll be disappointed because we're fast. We're fast at Bristol. We always are. So uh, one of the best races we had right from the beginning, even with a bad car, we're just able to drive well on this short track. It 
getting back up on Brandon Jones. We got Sheldon Creed up there. Jeffrey Earnhardt, Michael Chavez. Michael Chavez is uh, on the actual leaderboard right now, so he'll be a top five car that we lap. And we've got a whole bunch of cars right up there in a big pack, which is where Lane Tirigian is stuck behind. So it looks like everyone is kind of stuck in this pack. And that's going to allow us to uh, have a yellow and stack everyone back up. Crap. Brennan Pool back on the lead lap. Coming to the green. Be ready. Ready. Green's out, man. Let's go. Got one up top. Max cost, ladies and gentlemen. Max cost. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. Let's smart, try that man. again and hopefully not die this time. Ready. Inside, inside. Wow, that could not have gone worse. Thankfully, it's a short track car. So I'm hoping the damage we have isn't going to matter. But we got radiator damage. <laughs> We're in trouble. We're actually in big trouble. Tommy Joe's going to hit us. Give me a second. Obviously, I got to run as hard as I can right now and hope that we don't blow an engine. Five go, Which is five left. Now. Where we could have, should have won by a long margin. Max uh, wrecked us. Drop your speed, driver. You got room. Back You're in front of him. Can I get back to the lead? Without Max wrecking us again, I'm going high this time because I want to get the drive off. We do. All right. You got room. Get clear. in front of lane. I mean, we have to worry about the temperature the over the next now. couple laps. You got room. You're clear. Let's not. What are we going to do? Nothing. Wow. Just damage the car heavily there with that restart. Max turned down on us, put us right up into the wall. All right, let's go. White but flag. looks like we're going to recover from that. Drive our tails off. Obviously, any relationship hopes we had is ruined. Any kind of improvements are ruined as we had contact with both Tommy Joe and Max Goss. But well, we're going to bring home the victory here at Bristol. And if we hadn't, man, was I going to be mad. Top five, Tony Savoy, Lane Tirigian, Max Cost, Michael Chavez, Tommy Joe Martins. Matt Malone finishes 18th, AJ Hale 20th, Eliza Bethel 22nd, Casey Kane 24th, Gary Norton 26th, Jeremiah Graham 27th, Taylor Carpenter 28th, Bernardo De Oliveira 29th, John Perez 30th, Timothy Mathis 31st, Bradshaw Stout 32nd, Matthias Espinosa 33rd, Bryce Egan 34th, Parker Smith 35th, and David Childhaus DNF'd. There we go, first place generic trophy. Hopefully we get to see the Bristol trophy next race in the Cup Series. Max Cost had your fastest lap of the race. Tony Savoy led the most laps in the race. Max Cost on the move. Started last, finished third. And tough break goes to Brandon Jones starting fourth, finishing 23rd. Oh, well, we got our incentive contract completed. Taylor Carpenter, that win was not cool. Way too much crash passing. I didn't even... That's bull. Oops, I insulted him. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Oh, well. You get that insult. Well, I lowered my expectations, put it at three top tens instead of four top fives. It's a lot less money, but it's the only opportunity we have to actually make some money. We set that up for the next race. I'll be sending out, well, by now all the drivers have gotten the updates. So we'll see upgrades for next week's races. And in the next episode, we head right back to Bristol Short Track. Instead of 150 laps, we got 250 laps coming. 
So that'll be a lot of fun. But folks, that'll be in the next episode. I'd like to take a moment out to say thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And until next time, and of course, as always, you take care.